If you've kept up with the firmware updates for the Behringer Wing, Wing Rack, and Wing Compact, then Behringer has added a handy AES-50 cable checker feature into the consoles. Just press the Setup button, and then the Audio tab. Now, look in the lower right-hand corner, and you'll see this. If you haven't already connected your cable between the console and the other AES-50 device, do it now. You'll get an error connecting the cable, but that's to be expected. You'll need to clear that by holding the clear button here until it clears. We connected to the AES-50A ports for this example, so that is the ports we'll want to pay attention to here on the tester. Now give the cable a wiggle test. A shake test, wiggle the ends, and ideally you'll get no errors and you'll know you have a good cable. On the other hand, if we try some other cables and try that same wiggle and shake test, and we see errors pop up, you know you have a bad cable. Definitely mark it for repair and separate it from your good AES-50 cables. It might be fine for Ethernet connections, but something about it, build quality, length, a loose connection, or even a combination of things will make it not right for AES-50. You can also use this testing feature during your show or event. Make sure the error detection is cleared before you start your event. Then if you hear something during the show, check the error detection window and see if it picked up something. If it's still clear, you can know the AS50 connection wasn't the source of your noise or other problem. This is not just going to tell you if the cable is okay for the wing. It's telling you if it's good for any of the Behringer X32 or Midas M32 ecosphere. Of course, as part of your basic testing, you should still confirm shell-to-shell -shell continuity on your EtherCons with a multimeter. I wasn't sure how many people were aware of this new feature in the firmware, so I wanted to do this video on it. There have been lots of new features added over time, like the ability to send any channel to a matrix. Let me know in the comments your favorite new feature or a feature you'd like to see. I'll leave affiliate links down below. Here's another video you might want to check out, which is a bit of a walkthrough of us using the wing and the wing rack at a show. Thanks for watching, thanks to the patrons, and I will see you next time.